Hey, what's going on, you guys? Brony, uh, cute, cute, sorry, cute Brony Uru, and welcome back to once again to another read reading of my elements um, elements of harmony book. And today we're going to be reading episode, uh, episode number one hundred four, Apple Box season. So, so listen up, you guys, because. It, I'll t I'll tell you all the details on what happened on that on that episode. It's apple it's apple buck season at Sweet Apple Acres. Applejack is committed to picking every last apple on the farm while Big Max Big Macintosh West is injured back. Just as she is about to begin shaking the trees, the ground rumbles and an airborne rainbow dash warns Ponyville of a stampede coming its way. Every pony panics at as the thundering herd of cows races towards the town. Epic. Applejack and her dog Winola, 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 Winona. Sorry. Uh, catch uh, catch up with the cows and manage to herd them away, saving the town center from disaster. The mayor is beyond grateful. She decides the town should throw Applejack a party, but. Put on by Pinkie Pie. With the party about to begin, Applejack is nowhere to be found. In fact, no, bo no pony has seen her in days. While they wait, Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, Fluttershy, and Pinkie Pie describe the ways in which Applejack is helping them with various jobs around Ponyville. Applejack sure sounds like a busy gal. The mayor announces that Applejack is the uh, recipient. <laughs> Of an award for her trustworthiness, we we are li li sorry, yes, liability and integrity. <laughs> Applejack trots in to accept the award, looking unusually haggard, and even falls asleep on the stage. Twilight Sparkle knows something isn't right. Applejack is overworking herself. Twilight tries to reason with her stubborn friend, but Applejack wants no help whatsoever. Until another stampede hits Ponyville, this time caused by Applejack and Weona. Twilight is determined to get through it to Applejack and return to Sweet Apple Acres, where Applejack is barely able to stand up or stay awake. This time Applejack can say no to her friends up or stay awake. This time Applejack can't say no to her friends out. Offer, Rainbow Dash, Twilight Sparkle, Flush, I Wear, and Pinkie Pie all know all make time to help their friend finish the work in the orchards. So yeah, <clears throat> give me one thing. Alright, and the friendship lesson says, Dear Princess Celestia, my friend Applejack is the best friend a pony could ever have, and she always there to help every pony. The only trouble is, when she needs help, she finds it hard to accept it. So while friendship is about giving of ourselves to friends, it's also about accepting what our friends have to offer. So, that was... Thank you for that was episode one of four Apple Puck season. Um, actually, tell you the truth, to make up for today and to yesterday, because I didn't make a video yesterday, I'm going to do episode one of five as well. Because I didn't been able to do it last yes yeah, last last night. Episode one of five, Griffin the brush off. Pinkie Pie and Rainbow Dash are having fun playing harmless pranks on their Ponyville friends and it's brought them closer than ever. So when Rainbow Dash old friend Gilda the Griffin shows up in Ponyville, Pinkie Pie can't help but feel a little left out. As the two old friends bond over their days at flight camp, Pinkie feels increasingly isolated. Gilda makes it very clear to Pinkie that Rainbow Dash is her best friend and wants nothing to do with Pinkie Pie or her silly pranks. Pinkie Pie takes her friendship rose to Twilight Sparkle and receives some unexpected advice. Twilight suggests that Pinkie is jealous of Gilda and it is Pinkie who needs to change her attitude. 
So Pinky decides to look for the good side of Gilda, but this proves challenging when she witnesses Gilda pranking Granny Smith, stealing from her, stealing from the market, and scaring the wings off Flourish Eye. Pinkie Pie knows what she must do and takes the matter into her own hooves. She throws Gilda a welcome party. Gilda soon discovers that the party she is rigged with harmless pranks meant for the guest of honor. Gilda's bad attitude wears its ugly head once more and every pony, including Rainbow Dash, catches a glimpse of the real griffin. When Gilda demands that Rainbow Dash leave the party with her, Rainbow defends her Ponyville friends. Rainbow Dash and Twilight Sparkle realize they've misjudged both Gilda and Pinky, but Pinkie Pie has no hard feelings, just more pranks up her sleeves. And the friendship lessons for this one says, Dearest Princess Celestia, Today I learned that it's hard to accept when some pony you like wants to spend time with some pony who's not so nice. Though it's impossible to control who your friends hang out with, it is possible to control your own behavior just continue to be a good friend in the end. The difference between a false friend and one who is true will surely come to light. Um, just to just a heads up, all the friendship lessons are written by Twilight because do because it is seasons one, two, and three, so so if you guys if you guys want to read both both um the, I don't know, like if you like to kind of like. Uh, if it's if it, you tried if you could try to read this, then uh, pause the video. Three, two, one, and this one. One sec. Pause to read. Three, two, one. Okay. And there you go, guys. That's episodes 104 and 105 from my harmony, from my Elements of Harmony book. So tomorrow we'll be reading episode 106. On one sec. Yeah, 106. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another for another read of the book. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care.